Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to speak to you today about a part of your body that can give you a hint whether you might have celiac disease or not, and that is your teeth. Most dentists don't know about this correlation, but I want you to, so number one, you can educate your dentist so he or she could help us diagnose more people with celiacs, as well as find it in yourself, friends, family members, children, who are friends of your children, etc. So uh, one thing that can happen is that uh, children as well as adults can have white spots on their teeth. They can also have undersized teeth, so the teeth are too small, they're not the typical size. They can be yellowed, they can be grooved or pitted, um, and this can you can see it in children as well as adults. It's been found that 89% of all celiacs have some sort of dental enamel defect. If you think about the 89% have this, and the fact is in this country we only diagnose 3 to 5% of our celiacs, if we started looking at teeth, which are easy to see, uh, we could really make an impact. So um, this is very important information. Now those kind of discolorations can also come about um, if a child has had fluoride. Fluoride treatment can sometimes do this. Um, a mother on tetracycline uh, can do this, when, especially when she's pregnant, uh, when the teeth are forming in, in her child. So uh, it's, celiac is not the only reason, but certainly if you see it, you want to rule it out, which is not too difficult. And also considering that celiac shortens your life um, from all the secondary effects of the disease, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, to do an easy test. And um, definitely educating your dentist could be of great help. So um, I did write a blog about this that you can see so you can see more extensive information and it's, it's on our website, healthnowmedical.com. Uh, and uh, the blog there is, is under gluten intolerance and celiac disease. But I definitely wanted to share this with you so that you could help others. Uh, because increasing awareness of celiac disease and gluten intolerance is my absolute passion. And we could be so much healthier as a society if we diagnose this readily and early on. The impact would be huge. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know. Uh, let me know anything else you want to hear about. I do love hearing from you. And until next time, I wish you very good health.